Like, they look pretty identical, if you ask me. Alright. Well, we got some new brakes. If you guys follow my channel, you know that I've already purchased these brakes and I currently have them on my hardtail and I fell madly in love with them to the point where I had to order another set of brakes for my full suspension. I got these brakes on Amazon. They're four piston brakes. I paid like 190 or 186 after tax. They get delivered to my house a day or two later and here they are. First thing I'm gonna be showing you guys and talking about is what you get when you purchase these brakes, like what's in the box. And then I'll go over like the quality of everything and what I think of it. And then towards the end of the video, I'll give you guys my overall opinion, what I think of it, of these brakes as a whole. Once you get the brakes, they come in this box, everything is bubble wrapped. You get your rear lever separate, and then it comes with some hardware to mount the caliper to the frame and the front caliper to the fork. This is the rear caliper with the rear brake hose and then this connects into this so you, that's what it comes with the last thing you get is obviously the front brake and the front brake already comes assembled so it's already bled it's ready to go so the only work you really have to do is in the rear you know i was skeptical too when i got these brakes that they weren't going to be bled properly they were just going to feel weird but the front brake on my hardtail has been solid i haven't needed to bleed it I haven't needed to mess with it. It's been good ever since I installed it, which was at least like two months ago. And that's all you get in the box. Let me measure these out for you. They probably have exact measurements on you know, their website or on the Amazon site. But just to give you a reference, almost three feet for the front end. In the rear, you get about five feet, I would say. On my hardtail, I ride a size medium and I actually had to cut a good chunk of this hose off because it was too long. So yeah, five feet in the rear, three feet in the front. The calipers come with this little bleed block. When I first put on these brakes, I didn't like the brake pads. I thought they weren't responsive enough, but I think it was just a matter of breaking them in because once I gave it like a ride or two on the hardtail, the brakes felt really good and they're still going good. So just keep that in mind. If you buy these brakes, make sure to wear them in. I don't know if that's the case for all types of brake pads, but I know for these, after the second ride, they felt really good. You have two pistons on one side, two pistons on the other. You have like these finned brake pads. So on the rear, since you do have to install it, if this hose is too long, you can cut it and they give you an extra ferrule, I believe, and a little setup. So basically you can Cut this to any size you want and you'll be good. The front brake for me on my hardtail was perfect length. So I just left it as is, I didn't mess with it. They do only give you like one ferrule setup. So you can only cut these brakes once with, the, with what it comes with. So if you wanted to make your front brake shorter and your rear brake shorter, you'd have to go buy a separate ferrule because it in, in the kit, it only comes with one. So just keep that in mind. The lever has a bleed port on the very top. It's like a star bit. I don't know what the proper name of it is, but I consider it a star bit. These are mineral oil, and it comes with a little plastic cover like that. It's on there pretty secure. You have a little knob to adjust the lever itself if you want it closer to the bar or farther away from the bar. But it's a pretty simple design. There's It's not overly complicated it looks pretty slick in my opinion you got some nice cutouts on the lever and then you got the holes right here as a way to give you some grip that pretty much sums up what you get and you know a breakdown of these parts now my overall opinion are of these brakes are incredible like I am so in love when I tell you I love these brakes I genuinely mean that and that's from experience like if you look at some of my past videos on this hardtail I'm taking it to bike parks, to places like with steep trails and pretty rowdy stuff. And I usually don't, um, I don't like to hype anything up if I don't stand by it, if that makes sense. So like, I'm not affiliated with this brand or anything. I just love this product. And I think 
for me, it helped because I was in a situation where I couldn't afford $400, $500 brakes, right? And you get, for nearly 200 bucks, you get the whole setup. You get the brake pads, the brake calipers, the levers, the, the cable. And to me, that that is the most appealing part of this purchase. I haven't had any issues with the brakes on my hardtail. They haven't like gone squishy on me or felt weird in any way. At the bike park, I did feel my rear uh, lever kind of squishy at certain points. I just didn't bleed my brakes correctly. And I started learning more about bleeding and I sh it, sure enough, I did it right and it felt good ever since after the bike park. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Well, you're gonna have to bleed the rear brake regardless. So you either buy a kit with this purchase or you take it to a bike shop and they'll do it for you. But that is just something to keep in mind. Like when you install the rear brake setup, you're gonna need to bleed it. And with bleeding, you need mineral oil since that's what it takes. So this is the bleeding kit that I got to bleed the rear brake. I got it on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. It's not the best bleed kit out there, but it definitely gets the job done and it comes with so many different pieces and it came with mineral oil. In the future, I'll probably upgrade to a different type of oil, but for now, this oil seems to be handling well. I think in the future, I will end up buying a higher performance mineral oil and some better brake pads. Another crazy thing I wanted to bring up about these brakes is that when I first purchased the first set that are on my hardtail, I was on Instagram and I see this post. I'll mirror it so you guys can see it a lot better. But basically, the same exact brake. Like, they look pretty identical if you ask me. Literally everything looks identical. I don't know what the story is behind it or why they look the same, but I found that pretty interesting and I wanted to share that with you guys. I believe this brand is called Billet and it's made in Italy. 100% made in Italy. That's what it says. Look at that. That's freaking, that's almost the same break. To the grip too. Look at that grip or that lever. So yeah, pretty interesting. But I think this, this brake is a great price and it's a great quality. So it's a good bang for your buck overall. I'm excited to put these on, on my full suspension. I don't like the SRAM brakes on my full suspension. They work and they're pretty heavy duty. But when I switched over to mineral oil on the hardtail, it was like a game changer. I don't know if that's just me or if there's more of you out there that have experienced that, but I feel like mineral oil in regards to brakes just feels so much better. If you guys have any questions about these brakes, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Yeah, if you need any more info or you, know, you have questions about me personally testing out the brakes and things like that, feel free to ask. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick review and uh, hopefully the next video you guys see me in will be rocking these.